Day three of my exclusively adult virgin voyage. Last night, as I dined on the truffle gnocchi from one of the Michelin star chef curated menus, I discovered something about myself. I do not miss the chicken nuggets in the back of our freezer. I do not miss them at all. Come set sail on an award-winning adult Sony voyage. To learn more, visit virginvoyages.com or contact your travel advisor today. Now we're voyaging. Normally, being a little extra might be a bit much, but not when it comes to healthcare. That's why United Healthcare's Health Protector Guard fixed indemnity insurance plans, underwritten by Golden Rule Insurance Company, supplement your primary plan so you manage out-of-pocket costs. Learn more at uh1.com. Frozen, Frozen heroes, gonna tell you about Frozen. Frozen heroes, gonna tell you about comic books, costumes, facts, boots, and other stuff. In this week's issue, Dom Boy. Welcome into Bros, Foes, and Heroes. I am Zach, joined as always by my sidekick, Mike. Hello. Um, I <laughs> forgot to call you uh, Man Wonder. Man Wonder. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Do you want to distance yourself from that now? Well, no, 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 no. I, I'm just saying it's, you know, everybody's got to take a break. No, I, I got that. Okay. Right? Yeah. We'll just consider this my man break. This is your man break? My, my uh, wonder break. Your man wonder break. Just, wonder bread break? I like wonder break. Yeah, sponsored by Wonder Bread. Yeah. Sure. Uh, the white package with the red, yellow, and blue dot. Yep. It's, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I yeah. Know. I don't even... They still make it? I think they still make Wonder Bread. I hope to God oh. for our planet that they still make Wonder Bread. Well, that's been this week's episode <laughs> of... Do they still make Wonder Bread? <laughs> this next week. Man, what a specific <laughs> podcast. Know. Do they still make Wonder Bread? Next week, next week tune in as we ponder... <laughs> Are Dunkaroos still a thing? <laughs> Dunkaroos. I'm pretty sure. I saw some the other day. Are you serious? Yeah. No, wow. I did. Mm. You know they brought Crystal Pepsi back. Yeah, and, and I made sure to buy some. Did you? I missed it the first time. Did you? It's bare. I think it's right uh. before, or I'm too young to remember, kind of like a 89, 90, like I'm a two-year-old. I don't well, now they could do like a hard Crystal Pepsi, and it'd basically be Zima or something, yeah. you know? I mean. Never had a Zima. I remember all the commercials yeah, though, yeah, like their uh, garbage. the parking lot melting and it was like mm-hmm. sticking to their feet, but mm-hmm. they open that Zima and everything's cool. And I like told the, you that story about Zima, right? About how it's a man's drink. <laughs> That's what they wanted it to be. They yeah. were trying to market it as a man's drink mm-hmm. and all they could do is it, the women kept drinking it because it was like during the wine cooler craze, right? Mm-hmm. And so oh, the Bortles and James and yeah, all it was during stuff, that, yeah. right? And had they hung on for a bit, I think they would have been fine. But they were kind of ahead of their time. You know, you put out something that tastes like garbage and you call it something and, you know, it's alcoholic and everything's fine. Yeah. But, I mean, with all the people drinking the hard seltzers that taste like crap anyway, you know, now Zima would be, like, top shelf. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm surprised they haven't brought it back with how much they well, bring they, everything back. They bring it back every once in a while. Do they? Like okay. once a year, they said. Oh. Huh. In Japan, never went away. It's still a thing. Really? And and it's a man's drink there that uh, comes in like 42 flavors or something. Nice. Yeah. Maybe one of those 42 is tolerable. Uh, yeah, whatever. Maybe that's what you do. I'd like a Zima. What flavor? Tolerable. Tolerable, please. please. Well, that's right. the red one. This one. here. Here's a glass of water. Thank you. <laughs> here's a glass of water and a punch in the nuts. <laughs> Zima. It's Zima. Zima. It's better than a punch in the nuts. <laughs> oh, I thought we were selling it as it is a punch in oh, the nuts. Well, it's, yeah. and see, I guess it's like what crowd are you Cre- selling it to? If we're selling it as a man's <laughs> drink, are we like Zima? <laughs> it's a punch in the nuts. It's creative license. I mean, you, you got to make it better than it actually is. You well, know, Coke's well, solving that, all our problems. That's true. Uh, this week's episode is spo- uh, sponsored by Coca Cola Zero Sugar. Zero sugar. Not, not actually. Not affiliated. Used to be Coke Zero, mm-hmm. which I don't know why they had to change that. I don't know either. Have you had the Space Coke? No. Does it taste like space? Literally. Really? It says Coca-Cola Starlight. Mm-hmm. Flavor, space. Huh. That's what it says. 
Huh. What is I drink a lot like? of it. It is, uh, I think it's raspberry. Oh, so raspberries are from outer space? It, well, I'm assuming right before you freeze to death in space, when you take your helmet off, you taste raspberries. I don't know. <laughs> 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 but it, I like it. Yeah. it but I, 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 nobody else seems to like it that I know. I haven't tried it. Uh, my wife refuses to smell it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when I drink it, I feel like I'm eating a menthol cigarette. Because it leaves kind of a minty taste in the back of your mouth. What? It's weird. Yeah, it's odd. I don't know how to. Pharmacy's calling me. Wants to sell me more pills. Uh, it's funny we use the same pharmacy. I didn't realize they serve Dr. Generians there. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but don't, don't. Hey, sh- Space Coke. <laughs> Tastes like space. Space Ghost, coast to coast. Sponsored I've, by I've not Space even, Coke. I don't even think I've seen a commercial for it. I don't think I have either. Like I've, I think I've seen it. Life. And I'm not necessarily a giant fan of Coke. The thing is, when it comes to diet sodas. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is the best one. Yeah, it is. It yeah. tastes as much like the original as any of the others. Yeah. Um, the zero sugar Dr. Pepper is okay. I think it's better yeah. than the diet Dr. Pepper. But in all honesty, it's what all still probably has aspartame in it. Mm-hmm. No matter what. I used to love Diet Dr. Well, no, my grandmother used to love Diet Dr. Pepper. I got myself and my grandmother mixed up for a second. Does that happen a lot? No, it doesn't. Um, has, has, is this the first time it's happened? Small stroke. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was the first time. Okay. Uh, premiere on this episode. Just so we can document this. Premier. When, we, when yeah. we talk to your doctor later sure. down the line, we're like, here's the first episode when the first accident I, happened. I'm, I got a doctor's appointment next week, and I'm going to yell at them because they're not doing what they ought to be doing. Or, oh, I thought you just yelled at your doctors in general because you might have gotten to that point in life. Where I just yell you at them as soon as I come in? Doctor. My health! <laughs> yeah, no, I, it's, it's fine. I try very hard not to go see them. Uh, but what about your health? Uh, whatever. All right. It's well, going to be what it's going to be. Instead of focusing on Mike's haphazard <laughs> approach to... <laughs> Health care. To health care. <laughs> Let's focus on today's character, which was brought up a couple issues ago, and it's about time that we oh, cover. Oh, really? About time we cover her. That's right. We have a super heroine, if you will. Okay. Uh, that debuted back in. Scourge that's sweeping the nation. Super heroine. <laughs> back in uh, Sterling Comics published. Yeah. Captain Flash. Okay. In November of 1954. Captain Flash. Cap, no captain. There's an N? Oh, yeah, okay. Captain Flash. Not Captain. Now, Sterling As published in crunch. four issues of Captain Flash. He's attacking a, ro- a rocket. He is. Uh, we don't have any Captain Flash in here. I just have the covers of all the... Because <laughs> Captain Flash would have, uh, usually in the ones I read, I'm pretty sure, two stories. Where it was one story and then a Tom Girl story. Or yeah. Excuse me, a Tom Boy story. And okay. then... Another Captain Flash. This is America's Ace Defender, Captain Flash. Uh-huh. It looks like maybe he's shot out of an airplane, and he's now, um, oh, what's that movie? Um, Doctor, oh, Doctor Doctor Strangelove. Doctor Strangelove in a a rocket in his uh, luchador suit, uh, and I guess he's about to smack it. I don't want to say anything, but uh, this is fifty four. When did that come out? Like sixty three. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ahead of its time. But here's the here's the biggest <laughs> failure, as far as I can see. This is Atomic Rocket number three. Yeah, what where's what happened to the two? first two? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sorry, guys. We don't know because I didn't <laughs> read those stories. I focus mainly on our main character, Captain Flash, Tomboy. Tomboy. Now, Tomboy is Man, that is so demeaning. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, I'm going to have to read some of this before I let Mike uh, get a good look at her. But uh, essentially, boy, oh boy. the best way to introduce Tomboy is to introduce you to the first panel ever brought up about her. And that is, mention the name Tomboy and the underworld shudders and crawls into its hole. <laughs> Just mention, hey, doesn't she look like a Tomboy? Where'd everybody in the alley go? <laughs> right? So just mention the name Tomboy. Yeah, I know every time I say Tomboy, people Everybody just scurry. shudders and crawls yeah. into the hole. Mm-hmm. Mention the name Janie Jackson and nobody gives a shit. Essentially is what it says. <laughs> wow, that's some writing for 54. French. Yeah, and, and, pardon my French. And it goes, <laughs> and her friends and family will tell you she's a perfect little lady. Oh. But nobody in the whole world would know 
that Tomboy and Janie are one and the same. Not even Tomboy's most deadly enemy, the Claw. So in one panel, we already know Tomboy is Janie Jackson, and apparently her deadly enemy <laughs> is the Claw, and he doesn't know who she is either. Well, now, now here's the thing. I will say this. For names of comic book characters, they're wonderful. Tomboy and The Claw. Especially The Claw. I mean, that's a great name. I don't know. Maybe not Tomboy. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Uh, What I loved, and I made sure to just circle it. Little Lady. Yeah. (laughs) So just to describe it a little bit for those listening at home, and uh, you can find these online. This is a uh, public domain books, all of these that these stories appear in for the uh, Captain Flash from Sterling Publications. Uh, but on the left, it shows the Janie Jackson persona. Yeah. And she's wearing like a pink dress. Her hair's kind of up in a bow. She and looks like, like she that. looks very sweet. Like, a, I don't know. She what. looks like the. Did you ever see the Barbie doll that was like three, four foot tall? It was like a kid size Barbie. I'm sure at some point in time. And it, yeah. and it looks like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then it, right next to it is her persona. I found it funny when she puts a mask on, apparently she loses her eyes. But yeah, it doesn't feel like drawing. And that. she looks like female Robin. It, uh, she does very much. Mm-hmm. So Robin she in changes a skirt. into like a polo with, but like it looks like she has like a, like a dress shirt rolled up sleeves underneath, but then a yellow belt and a black skirt that is super high Mm -hmm. some red boots a red cape weird red boots too yeah weird uh, like there's too much boot they kind of look like boots that link would wear in a zelda Mm -hmm. game Mm -hmm. uh red gloves to match a domino mask and then a red cape Mm -hmm. so yeah yellow belt yellow hair all she does is basically let her hair down Mm -hmm. put on a domino mask switch into a polo and a skirt and nobody can tell that it's not her yeah also, well, the fact people that are stupid, I, would, so. I would assume, looking at her, we know through the stories, Mike, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but just to at least let you in on the Jackson household a bit. Yeah. The um, Jackson household. The, yeah, the Jackson household. <laughs> Tito, get over here. Uh, Janie has an older brother who's yeah. in high school. Uh-huh. Tim he's Boy. Older, he's older. No, his name's Bill, I'm pretty sure. Bill Boy. Bill Jackson. Oh. Bill Jackson. <laughs> yeah, Bill. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Bill Jackson. How generic. Oh. Uh, <laughs> But Bill, I would assume, even if he's a senior, that she's, you know, a year or two younger than him still. So she's still at least, she doesn't look it, but at least 16 at oldest. She's got one of those faces, like, some artists can't draw children. Well, I'm trying to just. She's got a grown-up face. I'm trying to just put an age here, and I would say she's even younger than that. She looks like she's a 13-year-old girl. Yeah, she looks about 12, 13. Tomboy is essentially a 13-year-old girl who fights crime, okay, Mm -hmm. at its core. Okay. So our first story that we have here. Does she have a weapon or anything? Okay. Just her fists. She's just throwing 12-year-old girl fists at people. That's the thing. Okay. So uh, basically our first story, there's like a shooter on the roof Mm -hmm. and the cops are like, we have to stop that shooter. This is where we're in the 12 year old girl. No, they don't. She just shows up. She slides in on a clothes wire. That's like, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. hanging clothes to dry. Otherwise known as a clothes line. And she just kicks the shooter. Yeah. And when he, uh, he's a bad shooter. He is. If he he can be kicked by a child. But, she like double punch kicks him as you see like both arms and feet are extended yes that's a double punch kick for oh wow sure. that is uh that's a wcw move right and there. uh the bad guy goes yipes it's tomboy yipes i thought you'd appreciate that and i like how the gun goes flying yeah and then tomboy <laughs> says that's what they call Wham. me and here's my trademark and then I don't know what she, I guess she judo throws them. That's her trademark. So judo throw. <laughs> why, why do the bad guys a lot of the times in these, especially these era comics, mm-hmm. they look like ventriloquist dummies. They do like his teeth. It's yeah. Not very he looks weird. like a ventriloquist dummy. So then essentially the cops get up to the roof and, and here's what I'll say. Yeah. If he is a ventriloquist dummy, I completely understand this. Right, but he's. It not. seems like she could probably take, take a ventriloquist. Ventriloquist. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But he's not. He's oh, an actual oh. human. Um, well, then it doesn't so make sense. the cops get up there and they see this thirteen-year-old girl in a domino <laughs> mask and cape, saying, "Here he is, officers, all ready for jail delivery." Jail and the, delivery. And the cops go, "Tomboy caught him." 
<laughs> and then she just slides back off. On we the, can we can go back to eating pie <laughs> on the clothesline. <laughs> And as she slides away, they go, where is Tomboy? The lieutenant will want to thank her. There she goes. What a girl. Right? So they're all, all these adults are enamored by this 13-year-old girl who beats up people. Here's the thing. Like, I I wouldn't believe this if it was a boy either, though. Yeah, no. I mean, you're still 12, 13 no, years no, old. No, 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 no. I'm not, you know? yeah, I'm not yeah. picking on her. because. Oh, no, no, no. I yeah. don't think you are. I'm just saying I wouldn't believe it's it then child. either. It's a child. Yeah, but these cops are fine. But it's not like in a case of like, oh, this is Superboy or something like where. Right. He didn't fly he, he's in. He's an alien. Yeah. Who's, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. Where mm-hmm. they naturally have these. No, she just. She's just a normal kid wearing a mask just shows up. And we just, let this 13-year-old. Who got the best of a guy with a gun. She just slap fights people to death. Yeah. Just, you know, she did her signature judo throw trademark. Signature judo throw. But then it flashes to the Jackson family. Mm-hmm. We're at the house of police lieutenant Jackson. Oh, Charles Jackson. So, Tom Boy's dad is the police lieutenant. Sure. So... They're having dinner and basically she's just realized how screwed up the police force is. And as a 12 year old girl who who is very conscientious, she decides I'm going to take care of society. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of a complex do you think is a 12 year old girl that you or just a child in general? Well, how do you think the does um, I don't want to spoil anything here, but does the dad find out? No. Okay. In the four, uh, so I'm thinking that could be crushing yes. for a police Spoiler lieutenant. Spoiler alert: I don't want you to get too attached because there's only four appearances of Tom Boy. Oh no! Because ca- there's only four issues of Captain Flash that mm. were ever made. So, okay. but Tom essentially Boy. over dinner, the family talks about like how great Tom Boy is. And Bill, I have to just read <laughs> this because there's a common theme here. Yeah. That we'll touch at some point in time, but I at least want to set the scene for that when we get their there. house. Their house looks like. The inside of, of the Brady Bunch house? No, it looks like the in. Well, yes, but it also looks like the inside of like those houses that were around where they dropped the nuclear bomb. You yeah. know, like those fake houses with the fake people yeah, in them yeah, and stuff. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Kind of like the uh, yeah. the Arrested Development, the yes. staging house. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, with the Godzilla thing. Else. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, but so her brother Bill, uh, basically, I'll just read as the the father kind of describes. You know, and this wonderful little girl they call Tomboy caught this vicious criminal by wonderful herself. Wonderful little girl. By the time I reached the roof, she had disappeared. So that's the thing, too. I want to say she's like at least 12. Like yeah. they call her yeah. a little girl. And in their minds, though, they're fine with a little girl fighting crime because that's, that's, that's never brought up. Yeah. And then Bill, her brother, goes, that's what I call a real girl. Okay. <laughs> The mom goes, mom just starts crying. Gracious, Charles, <laughs> who can this girl be? Where does she come from? And Janie, who is Tomboy, yeah. goes, Oh, she's just some girl mother. What's so special about her? I guess she feels like she's trying to throw. Yeah, off she's of throwing him off the yeah. scent. Yeah. And Bill, her brother, goes, What's so special? Listen, Janie, if you could do only half the things that girl does, you'd know she's pretty special. And then she punches him in the crotch. No. This is the start. Karate chops him. This is the start of what is obviously a giant crush mm-hmm. that Bill has essentially on his, on his sister. sister without sure. knowing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's wonderful. Right? Yeah. I'm loving all this stuff you're bringing in where people make out with horses. And <laughs> now the guy loves his sister. Oh, see, I was I almost nice. brought in Avengers uh, issue number 200, which if you're a comics nerd, you might know which issue that is involving Captain Marvel. That was kind of along the lines that I thought like, Oh, we'll do like a strange romance kind of thing. And I was like, no, I'll focus on this. But then the more I thought about it, I was like, there is kind of a weird romance thing in this. This is becoming like a fetish cast here (laughs) where Email us if if there's next week next week all about feet. What's your what's your kink? (laughs) Email us and I'll find comics that have it in it. And we'll talk about it. Uh, So he loves his sister. He loves his sister. Because she's a real girl. Bros, foes, and heroes at gmail.com. Um, so yeah. Bros, foes, sisses, and heroes. Heroes gonna talk about (laughs) Coxan. Um, so uh yeah. So 
He, fact, he doesn't know it, but he loves his sister. That's brought up. Mm-hmm. So uh, while they're having dinner, though, the maid, so they're rich enough to have a maid or a housekeeper. Sure. Well, you're the police lieutenant. Uh, she steps out and she's like, telephone for you, Lieutenant Jackson. Mm. And he goes to answer it. And Janie's just like, oh, I should sure listen. Or no, 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 no. I'm sorry. That's later on. That's a, mm. that's a different episode okay. they all blend together because they all kind of have the same kind of ties. No but, shit. yeah <laughs> but the claws on the other line and he basically tells the, the claw lieutenant, calls the, the police, claw lieutenant, calls the police lieutenant and says i'm giving you one hour not only does he call the police lieutenant at home i'm sorry to interrupt you but not only does he call the police lieutenant at home he gets the maid first ask for him <laughs> and then right. waits on the phone until the guy comes over to talk to him <laughs> I didn't even think about that. and doesn't realize there's a 12 year old girl listening in Okay. Well, she's not listening Great. in yet. She's oh. not listening in. Oh, okay. Okay. But he doesn't realize that his most deadly <laughs> can you, enemy. Can you just imagine he's on the other end, like, <laughs> do, 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 do. just kind of waiting for him to come to the phone? And the, and the lieutenant that he's waiting on to talk to <laughs> is Technic is the father of like his greatest like side in his thorn, some girl named Tom Boy. Man. And he could just so easily be like. <laughs> Hey, you know, I have his address. Why don't I just swing by Well, that's what I'm saying. Why not just go there? But no, instead he's waiting on hold for the lieutenant. And finally, when the lieutenant gets up and gets to the phone. Just looking through his mail, you know, (laughs) get the phone up on one shoulder. Uh, (laughs) He's got a a final notice addressed to the claw. Day three of my exclusively adult virgin voyage. Last night, as I dined on the truffle gnocchi from one of the Michelin star chef curated menus, I discovered something about myself. I do not miss the chicken nuggets in the back of our freezer. I do not miss them at all. Come set sail on an award-winning adult Sony voyage. To learn more, visit virginvoyages.com or contact your travel advisor today. Now we're voyaging ebay motors is here for the ride with over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die you can make sure your ride stays running smoothly brake kits led headlights bumpers whatever your baby needs ebay motors has it and with ebay guaranteed fit it's guaranteed to fit your ride the first time every time plus at these prices you're burning rubber not cash keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com eligible items only exclusions apply I'm Mo Rocca, and I'm excited to announce season four of my podcast, Mobituaries. I've got a whole new bunch of stories to share with you about the most fascinating people and things who are no longer with us. From famous figures who died on the very same day to the things I wish would die, like buffets, all that and much more. Listen to Mobituaries with Mo Rocca wherever you get your podcasts. New Mucinex Kickstart provides an all-in, one-and-done relief with a morning jolt of cooling sensation. From long commutes and early meetings to spin classes and school drop-offs, mornings are busy enough. Who's got time to tackle fevers, coughs, sore throats, congestion, headaches, or body pains? Not you. So come back with a kick. Buy Mucinex Kickstart at your local retailer. Use as directed. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I uh, I that was I coughed something up. I was like, Ugh. all right, I laughed too hard and knocked some loose. Uh, but so I don't even know where I was. Uh, yeah, the, okay. the, the the claw called. So so the claw called, and not to spoil something too, you bring up him going through his mail. Yeah. But later on, you can tell that the claw's hands are like actual animal claws. They're like Wolfman hands. So I like, does he have a hard time then going through the mail? Why did he fall mail over? Mail? Why did he fall over? Um, that's a different somebody. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll explain. I okay. Guess. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I'm it gr- jumps, I'm it takes leaps. Super lost. <laughs> so, but the claw has actual like animal paws. So imagine him with like cat hands, like trying to go through the yeah. mouth. That's why he doesn't yeah. mind holding. Cause sure. He's like, sure. This always takes forever. He's, like, <laughs> he's like, damn it. Dropped another <laughs> letter. <sighs> and then does a little of this. Lieutenant. Le- le- nope. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> Junk. Uh, no, no, I don't le- mind waiting. It's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, no. 
No, that's fine. Just before you serve dessert, if that's sure, sure. I'll hold till, yeah, just okay. have him call me back. I'll, I'll be here for a while. Uh, twenty. Yeah, I'll just call back in twenty. It's the claw. Just tell him to. <laughs> just tell him it's the claw. <laughs> She's like, okay, the claw. So, okay. would the, you like to leave a number? <laughs> the claw does tell the lieutenant, "I'm giving you one hour to release my man, Copper, or you won't have a, or you Copper. won't have a waterfront left in this city. Mm. And don't bother to tell Tomboy. We'll take her, care of her in our own way. How do you get rid of a waterfront? Is she just blow it up? But won't that make it bigger? I mean, it's water, right? It's going to go places. They have a giant tube. You're still going to have a water, water front. I don't. Okay. All right. I, yeah. I think they're talking about Maybe buildings he's talking about the, the buildings. Water. Yes. You got uh, on the, okay. on the water On the waterfront. Get it. Get it. Sure. Sure. On the waterfront. That wonderful movie with uh, so, Henry Kissinger. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> the lieutenant comes back and tells his family like, hey, that was the claw on the phone. He had the audacity to phone me in my own home to tell oh. me. He was raiding the waterfront. I've got to get down to the station now. What Janie, a tool. Janie runs up to her room and she's like, the claw, I'm going to my room to lock the door. And <sighs> Bill says, look at her run. Just because she heard the claw is on the loose. <laughs> isn't, is that just like like, just... isn't that just like a girl? <laughs> hey, I'm her brother in the 50s. I don't think she can do anything. Uh, isn't right. she just like a loser? Why isn't she cleaning the house? Oh, what a terrible brother. Yeah. So, uh, Janie just uses it as an escape to change and head to the docks herself. She puts as on her weird ass boots. When she gets there, she realizes that the uh, security guard uh, has been knocked out. Because mm-hmm. we only see his feet sticking out. We only up. see his feet. And she goes, yeah. Oh no, he's been knocked out. And behind her, we see a claw Uh-oh. at the shadow as the claw is trying to, no, 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 you know, no, no. grab her. And she says, "Uh oh!" And then it's her trademark judo throw. Yeah, she trademarked judo throwed him. Yep. And as we said, he has like animal wolfman hands. Yeah, and like I want cat claws. I, I don't know. I can't wait for his origin story. You don't get to it. Find out. Oh, it's never explained. Damn it. Um, okay. Now he basically sends his other henchmen after her. She fights them off, but there's too many of them. Sure. And eventually, Is this guy they have two kinda, heads. No, it's just there's a guy behind Two guys in green blue, suits. No, it's a blue suit. See there? It's oh. just with a blue background. Oh, so yeah, now I see it. Okay, I got you. It's not drawn very well. Their heads I'm sorry, are, that's kind of me. Their heads are really It's drawn bad. fine. No, it's, it's drawn the terribly. Color, the, the color is It's not drawn rare. well. Come on. Look at those guys. Okay, well, the color makes they're it They're all hard teeth. Too. They are all teeth. I think that's how you know they're bad guys. Ah. It's if they have giant teeth. Well, the bad guy does have big teeth. Exactly. So. The claw looks like. Jack Nicholson in Michael Keaton's Batman before he put the makeup on. Yes. That's what he looks like. And he wears a purple suit too, but mm-hmm. he has like cat panther hands. Cat panther. And he has like a giant wide brim hat and yeah. a cape. Yeah. So basically the claw tells Tomboy that she walked right into his trap, that he mm. found out that any word to Lieutenant Jackson about crime always brings Tomboy. So his trap was... Call the dude at home, then knock this guard out and just wait. Yep. That's a hell of a plan. Because they know that, oh, Tomboy's going to show up first. Yeah, that's a hell of a plan. Right? He's done it. So, and the waterfront was a ruse, and instead they kidnap her and they put her on a plane, Mm. and they're going to essentially, I'm just going to give you the quick version. They just tie her up or what? Yeah. Or do they drug her? They, no, she's just sitting there, hands folded, they have a gun on her. They just go, hey, Tomboy, come on, we're getting on a plane. And they're like, all right, we're going to throw you out, and you're going to die, basically. Wait, what? We're just going to throw you out of the plane. Do they t- and they tell her that? Yeah. We're going to take you up in this plane and throw you out. We're not after the petty stuff they have piled on the docks. It's just to throw the police off the trail. The priceless treasures at the museum is what we want to get. This plane is loaded with incendiary bombs, Tomboy. Incendiary. We're going to drop them on the dock, and you know what a blaze that'll start. While the whole city turns out to fight the flames, we'll just walk into the museum and help ourselves. Mm. Tomboy says... You're mad, Claw, to even think of such a thing. And Claw says, it's too bad. You won't be around to see it if I'm mad. Get her on her feet. And so they're like, all right, you heard the boys. We're dumping you out, though. Yeah, they go, we're dumping you out of the plane. Uh, Okay. I hope you can fly, Tomboy, because that's the only thing you'll see. Uh, That's the only thing that will save you. Push her out, is what the Claw tells. Yeah. And so she punches the guy and then jumps out on her own. 
Right. Okay, so she's afraid of getting thrown out of the plane. She goes, I don't like being pushed around, rat. And punches mm. one of the guys. And then the the it describes quickly turning. Tomboy sends her trained body, which is a weird phrase. Oh, that is phrase, weird. Uh, weird phrase to read. But she sends her trained body into a flip that carries trained her under. Body. That carries her to the undercarriage of the plane. And the speech bubble says... There better be something for me to hang on, or for me to hang on, yeah. So she's jumped out the plane. She didn't and even know if there's anything like, there. Hope there's something for me to hang on. Huh. There is. And okay. she, hangs, she hangs on this whatever bar is under here. The the plane they, bar. They just don't see her, so they think she fell. Ah, you know, ah we got stuff. her. Well, here's what it is. The thing she's hanging on mm-hmm. is where the bombs are supposed to fall. Oh. So they get to the bay or the waterfront to Who drop. Who let this airplane take off with a bunch of bombs on it? I don't know. But she holds the bomb door shut. Sure. So the bombs just explode inside the plane. And she just lets go. <laughs> <laughs> she just lets go that as is, the plane crashes in a fiery pool. And that she is awful. crashes safely in the water over to the side. Oh, good. And this story ends with Janie uh, with her family. And uh, her dad is holding a newspaper. The headline reads, Tomboy thwarts mad plan of Claw who dies in plane crash. That's a big headline. A very long headline. Very long. Uh, it says later that night Jan- in, what, in Janie Jackson's house. Tomboy told us the whole story, and if I hadn't been for her, the claw would have got away with it. Wait, Tomboy told who the whole story? The cops, the lieutenant saying that. Like, con- so Tom- his own daughter, dressed with up a as domino Tomboy. mask on, yeah. sat there and told him and the whole down. story. Her hair down. It's oh, not well, up uh, like Never usual. mind. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, it was silly of me. And it's different clothes, too. Oh, it's not that pink dress geez. she always wears. Okay. Yeah. All right. yeah. Uh, but, so she just tells pink, the cops, dirty dress that and she, she wears goes, all yeah, the time. Golly, I wish I could do the things that Tomboy does, is what she says. And her brother Bill, you, well, if that isn't a laugh, Janie trying to be Tomboy. Wah, wah. Is she winking? I, I, I think that's just a bad stand. <laughs> I think it's just smudge. This is from 54. I think it's just smudge on no, the No, she lost an eye in the explosion. Kind of looks like that. Uh, since that was the origin one. Well, that was I, thrilling. I know. Uh, ish, I'll, I'll kind of speed up a Hold little bit more. Hold the bomb door shut while they blow up inside a plane. Exactly. It's a great plane. Our second issue of Tomboy. Uh, Tomboy is essentially battling. Well, she's battling a crime wave, it says. This bad guy named Soundwave. Soundwave. So what Soundwave is, to just make it short, We'll, and we'll just focus on the ridiculous. Ba, ba, do, 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 do. Take two on what I was gonna say. <laughs> Good God, I didn't know uh, what happened. I was like, I was like, I think I missed a word. What no, is he saying? No, 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 you're fine. Okay, I uh, was just trying to get to where I could speak uh, English again. The which king's is English. Uh, the king's and my own. Uh, what I was saying was um, the story. Just quickly, so I can focus on the more ridiculous parts of it is there is a bad guy named Soundwave. And what he is doing is he is in like a truck that is projecting sound, but also he can like, there's a mic set up in there and he has speakers set up in different buildings throughout town. So they hear voices, but don't see anybody. Mm. And so like he orders people like, Hey, we've got you, you know, guns on you. Hey, get down. And, you know, like, close your eyes, like, duck your heads. And while they do that, they walk in with mask on then. Yeah. And who they, and who so they ran all up. these wires? I don't know. Because there were, no, there were no, like, like you know, um, uh, speakers without wires in the 50s. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody had to run all the wires, and yes. they're all going to one place. Yeah. It just seems like it would be very easy to catch this guy. It would be. But you just go to the source. You just takes, follow the wires. It takes six pages, and you don't follow the wires. Okay. So, all right. There's like a crime spree of just like, you know, there's not a crime spree. There's a, there's, there's a bad employee spree (laughs) because this says jewelers, clerks snooze as thieves loot shop. So you're telling me that the people that work there just went to sleep. It says, so here's the thing that that is true. So I guess I should say, I should explain a little bit more. So this first, it says (laughs) one afternoon. I know how dare I try to skip (laughs) past the story. Uh, one afternoon in one of the town's better better jewelry stores. Oh, not those crappy ones. Not one of the bad ones. This yeah. is one of the better ones. Where they ones. sell the glass diamonds. They just hear, 
Okay, dimwits, this is a stick up. Raise them fast, go for an alarm or holler for help, and you'll be drilled through the back. Holler. Holler. Gasp! Is <laughs> Where are those voices coming from? I don't see any thieves. And then the speech will get, of course you don't see us. Think we're crazy to show ourselves? Get down, bird brain. They like bird brain. Bird a lot. brain. We got that back. Who was that? The Roscoe Simon, remember the yeah, Captain yeah, America? Yeah. Boyd, I wanna, I Boyd brain. Tra- I'm Boyd brain. Mm-hmm. I want to train myself so that every time I'm surprised, I go gasp. Gasp. Instead of just doing it, just saying <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, get down on the floor, face down. Good heavens, it must be sound wave. Wah. And so they all get down and they go, it is sound wave. And then you see people walk in and they go, I'd as soon kill you as look at you. Go to work, mm. boys. Put them to sleep first. Oh, okay. So sound they wave. Put and they sleep. throw out the gas. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. Now so I then get the it. news. I just thought it was terrible retail workers. No. They just went to sleep. Sound like, wave strikes again. Geez, Invisible geez. master of simulated sound makes off with $65,000 in jewels. $65,000. Yeah. What well, would that be today? I'm looking that up right now. All right. Good job. Let's use our You would iPhones. think somebody who's like sound wave would have like a special. And I'm just thinking like Batman style, right? 60s Batman style. Like mm-hmm. He would have some sort of sound that puts people to sleep instead of gas. That wouldn't make sense. But you know. No. That like is not. he plays a, a haunting lullaby or something, and everybody just falls over. It's equivalent to seven hundred and twenty-one thousand dollars today. Yeah, it's okay. It's a little it's under point seven million in uh, earnings. You still couldn't buy a tank, no, or a that. yacht. Yeah, you'd have to like hold up like four or five more jewelry stores yeah. at least. It's all those. That's sleep. the cheap ones. Yeah, what if you rob the cheap ones? I mean, you just have to rob so many like, of that's them. That's a better jewelry store. Right. What if you rob the best, though? It would be more, but you have to think that's one of the better ones. Most of your other takes are going to be less than that. Ah, uh, gotcha. So, do you How like many freaking start... jewelry stores do they have? And here's the thing that nobody, like, I feel there are always a lot of jewel and bank uh-huh. robberies in these yeah. places. yeah. I feel like if you do honestly live in a place like Gotham or somewhere like that where uh-huh. the crime is as rampant as it is, uh-huh. you would really step up security measures. You would think so because you live in a town where your hero is a 12-year-old girl. You got to be like, you know, maybe we got to put bars on those windows. Nope. Tom maybe we got to have gone. a buzzer or something. So essentially in this one, <laughs> uh, nothing strange happens, uh, but they find out that one of Bill's friends – his grandpa is hearing voices and stuff, and they think he's going crazy. Okay. Well, it turns out it's not um, his grandpa going crazy. It's his grandpa's nephew, Edgar, mm. who like wants his money and sure, all of Edgar. that. So he's yeah. financing Soundwave to rob jewelry stores. He's helping him out, and he, in turn, is helping him try to get his father or grand, whatever he is. He helped finance to. Soundwave's first mixtape. Yeah, he did. That's what it was. Uh, too hot, uh, too legit to quit, too hot to put down. I don't know. Too legit to listen. Too legit to listen. Mm-hmm. Too legit. Wasn't quite as catchy as the other one, no. but still. Uh, but either way, uh, so she thwarts a uh, basically, I'm after my inheritance early scheme. No, okay. Um, hey, at least it wasn't paper cutouts. That's true. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was, that a, was that a set? No, that wasn't seven. What, what, who was that? It was the stupidest thing ever, though. Uh, it was Everybody the, the gets villain. foiled by the villain paper cut boy or whatever his name paper was. Paper cutouts. Yeah. Yeah, a bunch of paper oh, cutouts. Oh, that one was hilarious. They're knitting. No, it's paper. It was Nightmare, it was nightmare and It uh, was. It was Nightmare sleepy. and Squeaky. Oh, Sque- sleepy. sleepy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> But they had that villain, and he got away. Like that's the yeah, thing too. Yeah, so because yeah. he got in a boat. Yeah, and but you then know, there was once a paper cut out in the boat when they got close enough. Once to you it. get on a boat, you're you're done. That's I mean, true. You can get you can go anywhere then. So basically, um, she is able to. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've so, lost the thread here. We have. I'm trying to pull it back <laughs> in. So uh, tomboy is busy trying to fight the evil nephew or whatever. Family sure, he is. that's a good. Uh, that's a good bad guy name. Exactly, the evil nephew. His name's Edgar. Edgar the evil. Edgar the evil member. nephew. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Edgar the evil family member. But then he makes Thanksgiving <laughs> terrible. <laughs> but then Soundwave shows up and emits like a earth shattering like sound from the van. Sure, it's all speakers. Sure. 
and it, you know, knocks Tomboy down. And then one of the, uh, one of sound, what's his name? Soundwave? Soundwave. Soundwave's henchman <laughs> just straight up punches a 12 year old girl in the oh, face. Oh, cool. Right? He's yeah. like, all right, and knocks her out. Well, here's the thing, you know, I, if I were a bad guy in this town, I would too. Like, if that's. You the punch the little girl who's trying to get you. Like, you've seen that little girl kill people, I well, guess. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's I'm kind of, okay. She's not flipping me over jujitsu style. She hasn't killed anybody yet. Yeah. But at the same time, you've seen Kick-Ass, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. So, like, if Abigail Breslin's character, you've seen her kill other uh-huh. people yeah. like that? Yeah. You're not going to punch that little girl? Right. I mean, you got to. I don't like it's, to think of It's you, you know, or them. Like, I mean, you got to punch a kid. There, there are certain circumstances. Hell, like I'd you, punch a kid now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a joke. <laughs> Oh man! Sorry, hey Tom kids, boy. get in here! It's time for your punching. <laughs> Sorry. Oh man! Sorry. All right, let's roll it back in. So Tomboy's Tom all boy, red. Why is she all red? From the I don't know. Just so the danger of the sound. Oh okay. All right. So um, Tomboy basically wakes up and she's now tied up. Okay. In the same room. This seems to be happening a lot with the bad guys. And they're basically like, all right, we're going to go steal everything from this party, mm-hmm. this lawn party. And I'm going to leave you here to die. And so they leave her. Excuse me. Lawn party. La- yeah, I think it's called. It's a, I, I was paraphrasing, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> by the way, we're about to pull our biggest job. The Kimball lawn party. <laughs> It's one of your better lawn parties. Yeah. Sure. No, okay. It's the best. It's the Kimball. Like oh, the, the Kimball. I'm Kimble sorry. I misunderstood party. you. Yeah. So. It's the one where they have the monkeys and the diapers. So they all leave to go pull their big score. What are they stealing from the Kimball lawn party? And why are they telling? Like, like jarts? Hey, here's what I've never understood about bad guys at this time or just sometimes in general yeah. where they're like. How they give their whole plan. I left you here yeah. to die. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Since you're going to die here. I'm headed to this place. Mr. And I'm Bond. I'm doing exactly this. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to do it exactly yeah. this way. Yeah. When, like, I get, like, hubris in a way, but at the same time, there's hubris and there's stupidity. Is it Goldfinger that has the cat in... I think so. Yeah, and he leaves, like, James Bond for that laser to come and hit him in the crotch or yep. whatever, and then yeah. he just goes, all right, see ya. And just, uh, the machines will take care of it. Yeah. Why not just kill the guy? Yeah. Just kill him. Or at least... You're done. Like, here's the thing. Like, at least, as, as uncomfortable as you might be with it, Mr. Goldfinger, as soon as it hits some sort of skin and you mm-hmm. see, like, ah, mm-hmm. then you can be like, all right, sure. turn. Back. All right, I guess we're done. But not when he's like, yeah. oh, it's just barely starting on there. Yeah, no, it'll be done. Yeah, yeah, it's just so stupid. Man, we got so dark today. Yeah, that's all right. All right, so back to a 12-year-old girl who fights crime. They drew this. We didn't. No, 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 no. That's no, what no. I'm saying. I'm just talking about some of the tangents we've gotten off. Well, of. but I'm saying we 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 referenced punching a child That's, because they uh, okay. punched a child. That is very you know. True. I mean, it's not us. Fair it's enough. them. Yes, it's all them. <laughs> Make send all your letters to Sterling Publishing, <laughs> care of the 1950s. Yeah. Uh, so, tomboy. Yeah, I saw somebody walk by. Who walked by? I don't know. Some guy shaved head. Glasses. Oh, oh, I know who it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. It's all right. When you did that, then I freaked well, out. Well, I just heard I a like, sound. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't know what the sound was. Yeah, that's something. All right. All right. So after they all leave uh, and tell them that they're going to the Kimball lawn party, right? Yeah. Sure. Uh, Tom girl, or Tom girl. See, Tom boy. It's Tom a girl. Weird, it's a weird name, but I should remember it because it sends shutters throughout all the criminal underworld. Yes, you should. Well, it just uh, proves you're not a criminal. That's true. Uh, yeah. So, but while she's sitting there, I love this. This is one of the best escapes. Yes. It says, uh, suddenly, Tomboy notices Soundwave's, uh, Soundwave's dog under the table withering. So. Wait, withering? Yes. I didn't explain the trap that they set up. Essentially, um, they they leave music to play for for her mm-hmm. on the record player as she mm-hmm. leaves, yeah. and that's all they've said. Well, she now notices the dog withering, rither, mm-hmm. writhing, 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 writhing. Withering would be a whole different thing. Sorry, writhing like a plant dying. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's uh, it's writhing. Okay, it's like writhing. The dog's in pain. Sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. and this has been Zach Butcher's The English Language. <laughs> it's okay. Tune in, now, yeah, man. So back to Tom girl. Yeah. Tom boy, Tom girl, whatever. Back to Janie. Don't call her Janie. (laughs) Nobody would believe she's Janie. Um, 
but the dog is writhing under the table. So yeah. Soundwave just left his dog there too. Sure. And Tomboy Wait, is it's able Soundwave's to put together, dog. It's Soundwave's dog. The villain has left their dog there. What a shitty experience to be Soundwave's <laughs> dog. You had to see That's your terrible. owner punch a kid, and then you're left there. Yeah, but he's and always the, making these sounds. You got to figure. And that that's it's, the thing too is like the music that they left playing is causing him to like writhe around and yeah. Not, and the girl goes, or the girl tomboy says, he hears something so high pitched only a dog can hear it. Gasp again, or he has worms. <laughs> one or the other. Wait, sound waves of a certain pitch and intensity can break glass. That glass bowl. 10 to 1, it's full of poison gas. It's Soundwave's peculiar way of getting rid of me. So, <laughs> she thinks that he's left a record playing, and once it hits a, it'll certain, hit a note, certain note, yeah. it'll break the glass, release poison, poison in there, poison. and kill her. And also his dog. That's a hell of that a makes him, that That's makes true. Him worse it will kill over. his dog. You're right. Right? Huh. So, Soundwave, yeah, so that's far, rough. worse villain than the claw. Yeah, he's terrible. Um, but then what if, what if as the dog's writhing around, you see it has human hands <gasps> and, and now it ties claw. the two stories together. Oh, yeah. it's like the claw too. <laughs> electric boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, my favorite, my favorite line of the second, uh, tomboy issue yes. is, well, there's another peculiar thing ab about swivel chairs. You know what that is, Mike? <laughs> What? They swivel. <laughs> That's a peculiar thing about swivel chairs. No, it's not peculiar. It's in the name. You know, it's a peculiar thing about combs. They brush your hair. It is in the name. Well, that's true. That's true. You're right. I. It's not like, hey, you know what the peculiar thing about swimming pools is? You can swim in them. Uh-huh. It's right there. Who knew? Swivel chairs. They swivel. <laughs> It's a peculiar thing about it. Well, she's she's quick you, on the uptick. You ever go to like your uh, your local office supply store? Gotta yeah. get your new office chair. Yeah, you gotta you know maybe the chair you want's in the back, so you gotta make small talk with sure. the employee while you're waiting. Yeah, he's like, oh, you're getting it from the back, sitting there. You know the peculiar thing about <laughs> swivel chairs. They swivel. Well, I always check the tag to make sure it says swivel. Oh yeah, yeah. Make yeah. sure it does swivel because I get confused. Like these chairs we're sitting in, they don't swivel. No, they don't. They're but I didn't know that until after I bought them. <laughs> Did I have a picture? I was like, are these swivelly? And then nope. I realized, nope, I can't swivel. That's, that's the peculiar thing about these about these non-swivel chairs. So I started riding they on the floor swivel. like a dog. Uh, so, uh, and then Poison says, in a bowl? Yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> okay. Poisonous gas in a glass bowl. <laughs> All I see is, that, and I'm not looking at it. You are, but like I see a glass it's like bowl, a fish bowl. But what I'm, well, that's that's even worse. <laughs> like all I saw in my head was a glass bowl <laughs> with like saran wrap over it or something. You know, it's like, oh, this will keep the poison in. You know, <laughs> sound like a so He's like, all I know is about sound. I don't know I don't about know. poison. I don't know. Seems to be a little leaking out, but I think it'll be fine. You ever wonder like how all those like. Also, like Batman is a super like you know yeah. he knows everything. Yeah, all the villains tend to know a lot too. But sure. In reality, especially if you had a villain like, what if the Riddler was like really good in, about obviously like riddles and puzzles mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. like that? Mm -hmm. He's obsessed with that. His other time he can be spent on learning other things, mm -hmm. but he's not going to learn everything. Sure. Right. Sure. So you need to have like the reality of it's like you know. He's going to have to like fiver out some of these plans he has <laughs> to get them done if we're being realistic. It's true. Uh, so that's how Soundwave is a poison. So we're just like, I know about sound. I know about sound. Here's Don't know poison much about in that. a glass bowl with saran wrap on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, but essentially, Tomboy breaks out and shows up at the Kimball Law Party, knocks out all eight of those grown men. And then it ends the same way with this time her brother Bill holding a newspaper headline that says, Tomboy, trap sound wave gang at lawn party. <laughs> and then Wait, Bill, hang, hang on. I'm oh, sorry. I think I missed something. Oh, let me let me just wrap this up and yes, then I'll please, go back please, and cover. Please do. Bill says, and Tomboy sent for the police over Soundwave's own radio equipment uh, before she attacked his thugs. Golly, Janie, I'd is. sure like to meet that girl someday. And Janie goes, Maybe you will, Charles. Maybe you will. Wink. Wait, hold on. Charles. 
his name the, was Bill, wasn't I'm it? I'm pretty sure it was Bill, unless I messed up. I think they changed his name between issue one and two, and I totally missed it. Hold on. This is breaking developments of me just not paying attention enough. Uh, yeah, now Bill, don't tease your sister. And then in the second issue, his name is Charles. Charles. Huh? Dude. Maybe it's maybe it's William Charles. Maybe that's his name. That's creepy. William Charles Charles. That's my dad's name. Is it really? <laughs> oh wow. Ask you. Did, does your dad have a sister? Uh, yeah, he had a does lot of sisters. Does she fight crime? No. Oh. No, none of them do. They instead uh, blame us at times for corrupting their sons for teaching them how to cheat at Uno. Oh yeah. Well, that'll do it. Yeah. No, my dad is no longer with us, so I can't right. ask him if they. Right. Uh, yeah, I That's ate him. That's too bad. Wait, what? I ate him. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember that. That's a story. If this is your first time listening, I feel like I need to do not call anybody and report cannibalism. It was a uh, spreading of is ashes that, that went wrong. I don't Did know. Do people report that? I mean, what if you like if you found out your neighbor ate people? Would I you have call to call the, the police lieutenant at his house and let him and know wait for that somebody's to show over up? there eating him? Yeah. So the, somebody's over there eating their dad. The penultimate is that the yeah, next to yes, final. Next to final. Mm-hmm. Uh, the penultimate uh, tomboy adventure mm-hmm. gives us two tomboys. Oh, so basically what happens is there's Those this, tomboys. Yeah, there's this costume party, and uh, he's back to being okay. Bill. By the way, okay. Gosh, Bill's so cold and disinterested. Mm. All right, maybe she has two brothers. So Bill's at this party with a girl named Terry. This yeah. blonde, short, blonde-haired girl, not like short hair. Looks a lot like girl. his sister. Looks a lot like uh, yeah. He's got uh, a like tight sister. So, but Terry is very into Bill, and mm-hmm. she's like, "Hey, isn't this supposed to be our dance?" And he's like, "Yeah, no, we can dance. That's fine." He's just kind of not into Terry, and Terry doesn't know why. Like, mm. she's really into Bill. Well, so they're at this masquerade party, and they're all dressed up, and then all of a sudden, somebody goes, holy cats. Holy cats. Holy cats. It's Tomboy. Tomboy's showing up at the party. People probably and wouldn't Bill react the goes, same if you said holy pussy, right? I mean, sorry. I think I've messed up the podcast. Didn't mean to. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. So, They're at the party. Uh, yeah, and Bill hollers out, good gosh, in the flesh. I'll see you later, Terry, and just ditches Terry, Poor Terry. to go see Tomboy. Because uh, he's obviously really into Tomboy. Bill slash Charles is the worst. So, Bill, Bill Charles says, Bill Charles. one side, you guys, this is the chance I've been dreaming about, meeting Tomboy face to face. And Terry just says, how humiliating. He left me right in the middle of our dance. So that he poor, didn't want to have to be yeah. in with. And Bill goes, look, Tomboy, everybody's going to unmask in five minutes. Please. <laughs> He's pressuring her now. Please give me an advanced peek. I've been dying to know what the famous Tomboy looks like. Bill Charles is dressed like like um, uh, Lawrence of Arabia also. Yeah, yeah he is. Hmm. And so Tomboy goes, it's a pleasure. Here it goes. Gasp, Janie, what a dumb kind of joke this is. Oh. And then Janie goes. She literally just took her mask off. Janie goes, it's a masquerade party, isn't it? I can come as anybody famous, can't I? And the other kids are going, it's Janie Jackson, Bill Jackson's sister. Like, yeah, come on, everybody. It's nobody. Wait, who's Bill Jackson? Oh, Charles, you mean. Charles, yeah. (laughs) Bill Charles. (laughs) All the uh, kids are confused. I can't <laughs> remember his who? name. Charles, Bill? Like, what are you talking about? Half, oh, Charles. Half of the class knows him as Bill. <laughs> the other half knows him as Charles. And he's two completely different he's, people. And that man we know is two Um So then Bill goes back to Terry now and he's like, let's dance, Terry. I've got a nut for a sister. Oh, no. I didn't know how that <laughs> sentence was going to end. <laughs> Uh, I get it with the weird, with the weird, yeah, yeah. Uh, he finished. doesn't know though. He doesn't know though, so that he wouldn't say that himself. 
Come on, Janie, let's finish. I got a uh, nut for a sister. For a sister. Uh, good heavens. Man, <laughs> this, this it took a turn. All right. Dead, I'm sorry. So, good heavens, her dad says. Good heavens, Janie, what possessed you to get dressed up as tomboy? Maybe because I am tomboy, dad. You like, dumbass. You know, that's, yeah, it's like, hey, you haven't figured out this 12-year-old girl who looks just like me who stops all the crime in this city that y'all can't. Yeah, that's... Uh, uh, she he's goes, not a good cop. He's not. He's the lieutenant, too. He's so been he's off the, the beat best too the long. Uh, she goes... He's a better yeah. one of the cops. Yeah, she's just he's like, oh, best. I thought it would be interesting. And he's like, well, that's okay. You're going to ch- get a chance to meet the real tomboy when she gets honored by the mayor tomorrow. Mm. You're coming with me. Oh, and so she's whoopsie. like, how am I going to be at two places at once? Well, they get there Come and, knock and on she our keeps door. trying to get away. And her father very aggressively grabs her arm. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, and she's like, I got to go make a phone, uh, phone call. And she's like, no, you're going to stay here. I got to go see a man about a horse. Yeah. He's like, let them wait. Look, Jenny, there she is. And Tomboy is actually out on the stage. Oh, meeting the, meeting the mayor. What the? And she's like, what in the world? And so she sits there and watches it. And when she does get a chance, she does kind of sneak out the side to change into her real tomboy suit. Mm -hmm. Well, when fake tomboy goes to leave, she's picked up by goons who were dressed up as a fake limo crew to take her from the auditorium to the mayor's office. She dodged a bullet. Well, no, she's with the bad guys because they're going to kidnap Tomboy and finally get rid of her once it's for all. the real one or the fake one? The fake one. Oh, okay. So the bad guys have kidnapped the fake one. But that's one. what I'm saying. Tomboy just dodged a bullet. But the real Tomboy wants to figure out who the fake Tomboy just was. Just let the fake one get killed. You're good. No, so she tracks him down and instead beats up the real bad guys and goes, I want to see who this is. Oh, Gas, Terry Mallet, that yes. girl who's crazy about my brother Bill is what she thinks. Oh. She unmasks, sees that it's Terry. Yeah. Just trying to get Bill's attention. Yeah. So by going through with being honored by the mayor <laughs> as being tomboy in front of the entire just city. Just pretending to be tomboy. Yeah. She wanted to go up to Bill. Yeah. And she gets kidnapped I, for I that. I get yeah, it. Yeah. But she went through with the honoring of by the mayor. Yep. Okay. Uh, this one ends with just uh, Terry and Bill drinking milkshakes or something at the <laughs> like. So she so punches the milkshake guy. So Tomboy knocks out all the guys, saves the day. The soda jerk. And Terry says, "I never saw anything like it in my life." Tomboy went through those thugs like a bowling ball, moving down, mowing down ten pins. Mm. You're right, Bill. She's wonderful. And Bill says, and my sister Janie had the nerve to masquerade as Tomboy. Like, he is pissed off. <sighs> he bitch. loves Tomboy. He's like, how oh, dare she? And God. Tomboy just replies, if he only knew. And there's another. We end everyone with a headline. Oh, this one's tougher to read, so hold on. Tomboy. Ham prices skyrocket. Something police honor <laughs> by rounding up. Lord, oh, Lard. Sorry, the bad guy's name was Lard. Lard? By rounding up Lard Vincent's. L A R D, Lard? Yeah, Grand Imposter Saved in Nick of Time. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and get to our final one. Yeah, let's do that. Which just proves any more of how terrible her dad Bull. is at his job. So. Wanted by the police, it says over this guy's face. Lieutenant Charles Jackson, which is Tomboy's dad. Gasp. Countless are people Tomboy has befriended. People caught in the greedy net of criminal extortion. Mm. Their lives threatened by merciless gunmen. But there was one human... Oh, I didn't realize that that was two words. All right. There was one human being she never expected to find on the opposite side of the fence. Someone who made her heart sick when she learned that the new criminal she had to battle was her own father. (laughs) So it all starts. Janie's at school (laughs) and everybody at school's like, I don't want to be known as your friend. Like, don't talk to me. I don't even want to be seen with you. Get out of here. And your evil, stupid criminal dad. Stinky old. Right. And she's like, what's going on? They get home. The plea or the uh, paper already has a headline. That says Lieutenant Charles Jackson paid off by gambler. Police official uh, protects gambling syndicate. Jackson's daughter stinks. 
So here's <laughs> what I find strange, though. The newspaper already has the headline. Yeah. The kids at school are teasing Janie about her, like, right. hey, we don't know you because right. your dad's evil. Right. Janie doesn't know anything. Yeah. But yet everybody else has time to learn about it. Well, it's very weird. Janie, Janie's not allowed to listen to the radio. Oh, I got it. That's or read it the is. paper. No. Well, what kids well, reading the paper? Come that's on. That's true. Yeah. So they get home and she's like, Mom, is it true? And she's like, I don't know, Janie. I haven't heard from your dad. I don't know anything. Wolfman Jack told the rest of the kids all about it. It was a big radio Wolfman show. Jack. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, was that a good poll? It wasn't a good poll. I knew no. it, but that's edge. Like that's that's that's, <laughs> that's a pretty reach pretty for close, me. right? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. So uh, okay. I feel like yeah, not a lot of people my age will get that, but okay. I, right. I know it because of my dad. So. I, I just I'm embarrassed now. Um, All right, go ahead. My dad, who may or may not have been Tomboy's <laughs> brother, we're finding out. So, um, but she gets a phone call. Their mom gets a phone call from the lieutenant. Uh -huh. And this time. Her husband. Yeah, her husband. And mm -hmm. this time, Janie does listen in. And he says, darling, I've got to talk fast. They let me make this call. I'm in trouble, but don't worry. I'll be all right. That's what he just says. She goes. I have a date in an hour. She goes, I can't hear you, Charles. I can't hear you, what you're saying. Got a bad connection. Can you give me your number? I need to call you back. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you give me the prison's number, please? He's not in prison. He's on the run. Oh, he's on the run. And she, he goes, all right, but don't reveal this number to anybody. This was a time also where you had to pick up the phone and go, uh, operator, could you connect me to blah, 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 blah. Don't tell anybody. Oh, man. And so he gives. What a world. Uh, it's Waterfront 8910. Waterfront 8910. Thank God they still have that so waterfront. Janie, so Janie takes that to another phone booth and mm. calls the cops and mm. goes, hey, cops, it's Tomboy. <laughs> Track this for me. And the cops call back five minutes later. They're like, all right, Tomboy, here's the address. Oh, my God. So she goes and she finds out that the phone booth is outside of Nick's Billiards. Nick's Billiards, boy, known. And she bad walks place. in and she's like, "Where's Nick?" And he's like, "I'm Nick, and I got nothing to do with Tomboy." Nothing. And she's like, "Well, I'm gonna go ahead and just look around." And he's like, "No, you're not, guys. Get her and throw her off our premises." Mm. So she essentially beats everybody up. Sure. Throwing like pull balls at him and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And she gets to a room where she finds her dad, and she goes, Tomboy, how on earth? And he goes, it's, it's something I can't tell you about, Tomboy, not even you. Uh, I, I know I'm wanted for questioning, but I can't face them, not yet. And Tomboy goes, you must face them. Running away won't help. You're only sinking deeper in crime. I'll mm. bring you in. And the lieutenant says, no, Tomboy, you don't understand. Please stay out of this. Tomboy's like, sorry, lieutenant, I'm still going to bring you in. She's like, I'm dedicated to eliminating to crime. I don't man. care if yeah. you're my dad. Yeah. I'm bringing you in for justice. I don't care if you're my dad. Whoops, I've said too much. There is a line like that coming up. Oh. Uh, so. When she makes up with her brother. She's not able to bring him in because thugs show up and she's knocked out again by some of the bad guys. Sure. When she wakes up, she's tied up and realizes. This is three. This is four stories in a row. She's been tied up in every one of them. Yep. Okay. Yep. And uh, when you look back at it, it's kind of creepy now, right? It is. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So every so, old girl gets tied up every yeah, comic. Every comic. Yeah. But so she is and she wakes up and notices that a man sitting in front of her is named Arch Burris is rumored to be the gambling king. What? Say his name one more time. Arch Burris. Okay. Uh, I've got to catch up with him and dad. And so Arch asks for a light. Tomboy wakes up and basically knocks the chair back and uses it to knock both of them out. Boy, if you've got her awake, you're in trouble. Yeah. Um, so she basically is strangling this other guy and tells, hey, not a word. Untie me and take me, take me where Burris took Lieutenant Jackson unless you want a 10-year jail sentence. So now she's threatening people with jail sentences too. And this dude just goes, okay, okay. So this guy takes Tomboy to a second location <laughs> where Lieutenant Jackson Child is cop. being held. And here's where we find out what Lieutenant Jackson's been trying to do while he's okay. on the run. Right. It says, 20 minutes later near the waterfront after the hoodlum has talked. So Burris saw, so Burris saw red when Lieutenant Jackson made it hot for his gambling syndicate. Uh -huh. He decided to get even by framing him. Right. 
But the payoff is this. Now that Burr smeared Jackson's good and dirty, or smeared Jackson good and dirty, Jackson wants to get on the payroll and give Burris protection. So oh. he's saying, hey, which doesn't make sense to me logically. Like, mm. hey, Mike, yeah. I just let everybody know in the news that you were dirty. Okay. So now you're going to come and work for me yeah. with the actual cops to make it look like I'm not dirty. Uh, okay. It's convoluted, right? Yeah, it's not a great plan. No. No. But I mean, poison in a bowl is probably but, better so than So then that. when they show up, the other guy who's taking Tomboy there basically busts in and goes, hold it, boss. Don't shake that double crosser's hands like a deal's not done until the hands actually oh shook. Oh, my God. He's playing a trick on you. He's pretending to be crooked, only to bust the syndicate wide open. Uh, <sighs> and then the boss goes, it's a lie. Your frame, your frame ruined me. Or no, I'm sorry, that's the lieutenant. He's like, it's a lie. Your frame ruined me with the force. I may as well go with you now. Like, he's arguing with him. Either way, he's like, ah, whatever. And they <laughs> turn around, and they beat up the gambling syndicate. Sure. And Tomboy shows up to help out. Uh-huh. And here's the, here's the part you were waiting for. Yeah. So they're both fighting bad guys at the end. And Lieutenant goes, uh, or the Lieutenant Jackson says, by the way, thanks for showing up in the nick of time. Here comes the boys as the cops are finally showing up. Yeah. And Tom Boy says, you're welcome, da. Er, <gasps> I mean, Lieutenant. Gasp. And then she thinks, yipes. I almost yipes. gave myself away. <laughs> yipes. That night at Lieutenant Jackson's home, that Tom Boy is just marvelous, Janie. Someday you ought to meet her. And Janie says, you know, Dad, somehow I feel as if I know her already. Wink. Yep. And then the headline, headline. Lieutenant Jackson Innocent, please pull ruse to expose Gambler's <laughs> Syndicate. Tomboy lives Jackson's life. Oh, oh, my goodness. Hold on. She lived his life. Oh, Tomboy saves Jackson's life. Something broken up. Oh, gang broken up. That is oh. a very long headline. Yeah. Well, these were bigger papers back then. Well, no, but, like, look at it. That's the whole freaking paper. Yeah, well, that's headline. what I'm saying, yeah. Look how large it is compared to this man, though. That is true. That is, that a, is a gigantic headline. paper. Yeah. That is a shrinkflation that you're seeing there. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Our papers are so small these days. For sure. Shrinkflation, or what happens to some people in the shower, unfortunately. Womp, womp. Well. That's a terrible joke. Well, that was, uh, that was a thing. That was Tomboy. Uh, in the back of this comic, you can get, uh, uh, kang uh, kangaroo simulated chamois automobile seat covers too, right? Soft as natural chamois when wet. Wait, I used to have a girlfriend soft, that they're soft as natural chamois when wet. Soft as natural chamois when wet. So they're not, are they very coarse when they're not wet? Yes. Okay. They're made from kangaroos. I think it says, well, that's, I don't like it says use kangaroo simulated chamois. I always want to say chamois. It kind of looks like save up to a hundred dollars a year on car washing. With just the chamois? How much do you get your car washed? Like in the fifties, that's like once a day or something, right? How cheaply made were chamois? That I don't know, chamois. One were. like that would. You can get your reversible auto seat covers. They're made of flexton. You do know because I do know a lot of random just sports flexton BS stuff. Yeah. That they do make like first basements and stuff out of kangaroo hat and stuff like that. Oh, do they really? Yeah. Oh no, I did not know that. Yeah, there's like some some of them. I think it's can there's is there something else? But there's different like exotic hides. Yeah. I just included the covers of all the Captain Flashes. Okay, the who's his, code. who's his side guy? I don't know. Does it no. say it underneath there maybe? No. Mm -mm. Just says can Captain Flash stop the flying saucer invasion and he's punching little Martians. Yeah, they are cute little Martians, they too. They are cute. Yeah. Huh. So well, there you go. thanks, Tomboy, for Tom saving the city. Boy. She saved the city. All the time, because the cops didn't do anything to help her at all through this. Oh. No, they really didn't. Uh, the, the cops come come uh, through this as, as, like, really lazy. Yeah. They just let a 12-year-old girl Thank God there's 12-year-old girls around. Yeah. All right. So there you go. Well, that was fun, man. That is Tomboy. Thank you. Oh, thank What's you. What's next week? Uh, I have a couple different things. I'll, uh, I'll tease where we could potentially go. Wiener man. I wait. I don't have a wiener man. I mean, there might be one out there. It, um, it's, it's, uh, you got to watch your commas in that one. Yes, very much so. <laughs> very much so. Um, I have Avengers issue number 200 if I want to continue this weird love thing that I so randomly. I think it's wonderful. The theme I fell yeah. into. Mm -hmm. So I could do that next week. 
Um, I have some actually good things that I'm reading that we could talk about too. Nah. Uh, I Who finally, wants that? I know it's it's much better when I talk about the the. Worst good things, things are such a dime a dozen. I, you want to make sure you dig up those hard to find bad ones. That's true. I think it's the fact that it's bad and it's hard to find. Like a lot of the stuff I look up to be like, okay, maybe somebody else has done something on it too. And they caught something I didn't. Yeah. Like I'm trying to find something on yeah. YouTube and there's nothing. And I would just have to be like, all right, I guess I got to read it all. Yeah. Then. You got to do that one. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I got tons of just random uh, public domain stuff like this that I can obviously dig up. I love this stuff. I, I do too. I love the public domain stuff. I think it's just it's it's more fun. People are people are probably not very familiar with it. Yeah. So yeah, let's let's expose the world to our wares. We have a lot of great stuff coming up uh, that we can get into there. Then I have cool. the whistler who fights crime by just whistling. A whistler. I'm two appearances in on him so far, and that's honestly all he's done. I like that. Um, so we have things like that. Uh, I've even found out like who the very first. You know what? You know what I wanted to do, and it's funny that you brought this up mm. and, and how much you like. So you know how that a lot of these things like were this not as much as others, but they were a part of like anthology books. Yeah. Each month. Yeah. yeah. So I have the first four issues of Pep Comics. Yep. Which I think was uh, MLJ who ended up doing Archie. Like Archie ends mm-hmm, up mm-hmm. premiering in Pep Comics. Yeah, I remember you saying that. But their main character in this one was a character called the Shield, which is the inspiration for Captain America. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, I know I the think, Shield. Yeah, I think I've seen him before. Uh, I think that Jack Kirby might have even worked on the Shield. He's at some got the point Shield, but it's shaped it's, like well, an actual on his, Shield. Yeah, thing but it's too, like right? his chest. Kind oh, of is okay. the Shield. I think okay. I'll bring it in. But what I have is I have the full like 64 pages mm-hmm. and what I thought I could do is like each month instead of doing like a one issue on like a whole character yeah. I can be like pep issue number one and I can just do like the four stories that are in that yeah that sounds great good. I love that yeah and then that way you can kind and of we'll follow leave on cliffhangers yeah if there are connected a lot of these aren't so they there's should be cliffhangers. yeah I can create one like maybe pep. I'll just say pep comics uh, there's a lot of these like I can find some I would love to do that just go through and, and find then they See you next week. Yep. That kind All right, of thing, bye, right? guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, that's great, man. So we got a lot of things we could do. As always, you could just listen to Mike and I talk about shenanigans and stuff in general. And where can they find us? They can find us on Instagram, bros, excuse me, bro, foe, hero, yep. or email us at bros, foes, and heroes at gmail.com. Just All spelled out, not an ampersand. Any of those Andy. combinations. Yeah. Any of those. Bro, foe, hero, ho, yeah. ro, fee, ro, or, bo. Or if you know how to, I don't know. Maybe if you have pigeons, you could send us. Sure. Carrier pigeons. Car- we accept carrier pigeons. Uh, we ponies. accept carrier pigeons. Yeah, we do. We will not send them away ponies. if they show up. <laughs> carrier pigeon here. Yep, we'll take it. It's so gross we outside. There's them. so many oh, carrier pigeons. We have just the back here full of just carrier pigeons because yeah, they showed up and we accepted pigeons. them. Yeah, it stinks. But we also accept them from who they are. There's one that's going through a a big, big step in his life. Uh <laughs> He's he's deciding if he uh, wants to become vegan or not. Just so, the carrier pigeon. So yeah, we are. Uh, hey, you can also find us at roguemedianetwork.com. <laughs> uh, it's me, me going on tangents now instead of you this time. Yeah, I like that. All right, so uh, roguemedianetwork.com. Yep. Also, a lot of great great podcasts there of the uh, rogue media family of the rogue type of the rogue type that you should take genus, time out to go and check out rogue, and listen to phylum. <laughs> podcast i don't know the name so just listen to whatever mike calls and goes off that <laughs> well i'm saying a genus and a phylum right is that, that's how you classify plants is, is and the, animals is and the stuff? phylum family i don't know and the genus is i don't remember I just made it up. That's, I don't know. yeah see i don't know either i just like those words all right well this is a perfect way to end the podcast yeah right? it's great love it all right guys, so, all right, guys. Uh, until next time thanks so, for yeah. uh hanging out and listening as always <laughs> hope, and hope, stay safe hope you listen to the end see got it gone There's a little bit of something in there. Frozen, Frozen, heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, heroes. Gonna tell you about. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.